What's up guys? Welcome to Keto Rewind. I'm Jess and today is week two meal plan of the Keto Rewind Clean 30. Um, if you're not familiar with this or this is new to you, I will put the link in the cards here for week one. What is this whole thing? So, um, but for more information, click it right there and also there'll be info in the description box below. So, but first things first, I'm not a medical doctor. I'm doing this anyways, so I thought I would share <laughs> what I'm doing with you guys. I, I have 12 pounds left to lose in my journey, so I went back to day one, month one of my journey, and I've been doing the same recipes, and in, I drew inspiration from those same recipes, meal plans, what I tracked in my macros, um, and just an updated version of what I know now. So I thought, what better way than to share it with everybody who's following my journey. A lot of you are new, new to keto, and this is a great way to jumpstart your keto, um, get rid of the quarantine 15, or, <laughs> um, or maybe just learn some new recipes. So anyways, this is week two. Um, week one, everything will be down below, so we're gonna start. And I thought, because I didn't really explain it very well. I'm new to this. <laughs> I had so many questions. I thought this week when I launched the meal plan and the shopping list, I'll explain it a little bit better so that I won't like leave you high and dry. I know the egg noodles um, from last week, everybody thought it was some product that you bought. Turns out it was just eggs, but to me, I'm like, duh, that's me. <laughs> um, you're supposed to read my mind, so, but anyways, I'm sorry about that, and I hope it makes sense now, and I hope you enjoyed that recipe. So to avoid any, um, any questions or to answer as many of the questions as possible before we get started, I will go over week two's menu and explain it. Um, and then also, uh, any coupon codes or anything down below, um, use those links and save. So, I have a shopping list and I have the actual meal plan. This week, we're gonna get a little bit more creative. We started on week one very basic, very simple. And I hope you understood that there was a method to the madness. For one, it's a great way to flush all the carbohydrates out of your system, all of that processed crap through your system, and also there was probably a roller coaster of emotions and cravings. So now that we've gotten through that, it's week two, and the menu gets a little bit more, I'm putting a little bit more fun stuff, if you will, into this week's plan. Um, and also, this is completely free. Just want to point out, when you, if you go to my website and download the week two meal plan, there's an ad on the top of the page that changes constantly. That is not me, that's an advertisement. My plan is called the Keto Rewind Clean 30. So please pay attention to what you're clicking. Um, the ad changes every time you visit the site and that ad pays for the maintenance and cost of my site. So it's only one ad on my site. If you go to any other blog or, or recipe blog or website, there's hundreds of ads on a page. So I just have one. <laughs> so pay attention to what you're clicking on. Um, my plan is the Keto Rewind Clean 30. If you're not clicking on that, you're not in the right place. Um, I also want to stress, I this is what I'm doing. You don't have to do this word for word exact. This is, this is all about you learning how to do your own keto with my inspiration. So you can copy it exactly, you can make modifications, you can swap ingredients. This is just a general idea of what I'm doing. So just keep that in mind. So on week two's menu, I just want to point out, make a couple of them that might warrant some questions. The on, let's see, on day nine or Tuesday's me menu, I have keto bread. I discovered a delicious keto bread recipe and it's very simple, no egg. <laughs> so I'm gonna use that recipe a couple different times this week. Um, so the only thing that you may need to purchase is unflavored whey protein powder. Um, and that's because it's not made with egg, it's the egg and it's not made with flour, obviously. So that, that whey protein is gonna act to give it a little substance. So, and it's delicious and I promise you, you'll wanna grab some unflavored whey protein. Um, because I also like to stress hitting my macros, I do also include, include a couple spots on here where I added protein powder or protein shake. Um, and I make that with almond flour, I mean, and I make that with unsweetened almond milk. The two protein powders that I use are Quip and Perfect Keto. Um, both of those are an 
are pretty much the top-notch uh, options that I personally would pick. Um, so if you want to purchase any of those, use the coupon code and save down below. So the next thing is um, that keto bread, I'm going to toast it so it's going to be made into keto toast. So I'm, we're going to have avocado toast, we're going to have just plain old buttered toast, um, and it's going to be so delicious. The next thing I'm going to do is turkey meatloaf, and I'm going to make a meatloaf large enough that we can have it a couple of days. So you will need to adjust it based off your serving size or how many people that are doing keto in your household. Um, but you can swap turkey for chicken for beef. You don't have to do ground turkey like I'm doing. So just you make the change. If you don't do one of those, um, do you do you. But the turkey meatloaf is going to be so delicious. I put a, uh, a I put sugar-free ketchup on the top of my um, turkey meatloaf, and I have a recipe that I'll link down below when I release this. The recipe is on my site. You just need to make your own, or you can even buy store-bought um, ketchup, but mine, seriously, is top-notch. Top and it's so easy to do, and I make this probably two, three times a month, and we eat off it all month long. I'm um, with my kids, because I don't, I want my kids having sugar-free ketchup as well, especially since they don't even know I changed their, their, their ketchup. So anyways, the um, meatloaf is going to be then reinvented into meatloaf croutons. Now, I have a video on my site or on my YouTube channel where, where I've used meatloaf croutons, the same concept. It's something I do all the time since the day I started that recipe. Um, and it's a great way to reuse your meatloaf and reinvent it. So meatloaf croutons is essentially your meatloaf that's left over, you dice it up and you pan fry it in some butter and it gets a crust on it and it turns into like the most delicious, oh, just stay tuned, I promise. And if you're curious, you can check my YouTube channel and get watch the meatloaf crouton video. Um, but that's basically what I'm gonna be doing again. Um, let's see if there's any other things that might jump out at me. Oh, ranch dressing. I make my own ranch dressing. I will have a recipe for you. The recipe's on my website already. Um, it's the one I've been using all along. So don't worry about buying any store-bought ranch. You're just gonna wanna get a good a good keto mayo. That's not, not keto mayo, because you're just gonna wanna get a good quality mayo. Um, you can use Hellman's. It just has canola or soybean oil but you can also use an avocado-based uh, mayonnaise. You do you, but you'll need a mayonnaise, you'll need some sour cream, and you'll need heavy whipping cream or a milk of your choice, like unsweetened almond milk, plain, not vanilla, plain, um, to make a dairy-free option. So, but anyway, stay tuned for that. The recipe is already on my site, so um, don't sweat it. And the last thing, let's see. That's pretty much the only things that should Maybe raise an eyebrow. Oh, oh! And on Monday, I I got some peanut butter cookies by Perfect Keto. So I have a treat on Monday because that's my weigh-in day normally, and I usually have my treats on my weigh-in day. Um, and then I'm good for the rest of the week, and I don't get them again till then my next Monday. So, um, but that's why that's optional. If you want to grab cookies down below, um, they're peanut butter cookies, and they are a ten. They're my favorite of their of the three flavors of cookies. They're my favorite. Um, so links down below if you want to grab some really good clean ingredients that fit into my plan. Um, and then let's see, so the shopping list, um, we went over, we're going to need some, I'm going to make an egg loaf, it's Keto Connects recipe, so we're going to need cream cheese, um, let's see, you'll need the whey protein isolate to make the keto bread. Um, but again, you can do a 90 second bread, you can do a, just do a, if you're not into using whey protein powder, you can just Google or go to Pinterest and find another keto version of a 90 second bread or something. So you don't have to use the one I'm suggesting. It's just really good. Just saying. <laughs> um, but I like, I like the one I take that I am suggesting for this week because it doesn't have egg and it doesn't have that eggy taste. So, but if you like the eggy taste in breads and stuff, there's a million recipes. Just do a search. Find something that works for you. Um, let's see what else. That Oh, I put xanthan, xanthan gum and baking powder and almond flour this week because you will need that to make the bread. Um, chances are you probably already have those ingredients, but I put them on here just in case. Um, and other than that, that's pretty much anything that would stand out that'd be different from last week. A lot of this stuff was the same ingredients as last week, um, just with a few 
uh, additions and taken a few things off. So, and then lastly, what did we learn off of week one? That's something that you need to pay attention to. Why are you doing this? You need to know that and you need to sit down and really give, have a heart to heart with yourself and figure out why are you doing this? Uh, because when you go through tough weeks like week one, there'll be more of these in your journey. When you go through the weeks that are challenging emotionally, you're going to want to draw back on why are you doing this in the first place. It will give you your strength and you will find your inner strength this through this journey. And it's, it's a beautiful process and it seems like a hot mess at the time, but there's beauty in the mess. And it, there's beauty in rebuilding yourself better than ever stronger too and also did you notice after a week of no sweeteners how do you feel do you feel like your cravings have subsided do you feel yourself having that void and wanting them um like because now you're feeling that craving and you're being aware of it so curious to think to curious in general how do you feel about the sweeteners after a whole week of clean eating um, that was eye-opening for me and it also was something I didn't want to admit to myself back in the early month, probably month one of my journey, to realize I was a sugar-aholic. I went 35 years without knowing that consciously and then I discovered it when I went keto, I was a sugar-aholic. So and I'm in recovery now. <laughs> um, and it's all about learning to live within the extremes. So yes, I'm a recovering sugar-aholic, but now I just put some limitations. Instead of avoiding it altogether, I just put limits on it. So that's why you will see some things come back to, and you'll see some sweeteners added back in as my, the weeks go on in this process, but not a ton. And same goes for dairy. Did you notice how dairy affects you? You may be one of the lucky ones that has no change when you, you can eat all of the dairy. There are people like that. It's completely true. You can have all the dairy you want. But a lot of us, I'm unfortunately one of those ones, dairy does affect my weight loss. So when I cut dairy out, the scale moves again. So, But that again, same with the sweeteners. It's not about eliminating, it's about limiting. Um, and then macros. Did you like the way I explained the macros? This Going forward this week, I'm going to put all the macros at the end of the video. Um, and that's so that if you already know how to watch or how to calculate your macros, you can at that point click off, you know? <laughs> um, but for those that still want to learn about the macros, I will still include that in the video. Um, but instead of putting it in between, you know, kind of like really baby stepping it, I'll put them at the end going forward. But that was just to make it so that everybody had an opportunity to learn. Um, and then the last thing is, I can't please everybody and I can't do, like this meal plan is something my husband and I are doing. It's what we want to do. So I can't make my, my meal plan perfect for everybody else. So please keep that in mind. If there's an ingredient that you don't use, make a simple substitution. If it's something you can't have, do some research. Um, and also know that my, my recipes were feeding my family of four and sometimes I'll do recipes for six so we have leftovers. But your, I can't give you a shopping list with exact amounts because it's going to vary on what you're doing, how many people in your family are doing keto, and um, what you can get locally. So right now it's kind of crazy with all the stuff that's going in the world right now. You've got to take some accountability and step up and figure this out for yourself. I can only give you so much info. At some point you're going to have to start learning this, this stuff. Um, and I mean that in the nicest way possible, but it's true. You've got to take some type of ownership in this. I can't be here forever. I'm here to teach you or to inspire you. I'm not here to do it for you. So I hope you understand why I don't include exact amounts on the meal plans. It, there's so many variations on how many people are doing the keto in your family. So, it, But if you're making for a family of four, pretty much you can do whatever I'm doing. Um, when I put my recipes out there, that's pretty much it. I'll do four to six on average, but I normally don't do anything less than that, uh, or more than that, because it, I would be it would be wasteful and stuff like that. But I, if I were you and you're the only person in your household, I pick one or two of those recipes and make them, and just eat off of them leftovers for the rest of the week and not have to cook. I will say that speaking of that, I totally miss alternate day fasting because there's so much more 
cooking and cleaning involved, eating every day, even though I'm skipping breakfast and just having lunch and dinner. And it's just, after having like 40 hours of no food, it's it was pretty nice. It's a perk of alternate day fasting. Less dishes, way less cooking, way less just, I don't know, it's just, you, there's more time too, because I've been spending so much time cooking and filming and editing, so enough of that. Go rock week two. Um, my weekly update, I think it's week 69, will be on Monday. It'll be a traditional uh, weigh-in. I'm gonna weigh-in, let you know what my week one results is of this plan, and I'll see you then. I'm Jess, comment below if you have any questions, and I'll see you at the next video. I'm Jess, you're watching Keto Rewind. Bye-bye!